painted hot. Bleminek. Tell you what, for someone that's come from Africa, I don't understand why this is impossible for me to see it because it absolutely is impossible. But yeah, I'm gonna make a bit of a lunch, a light lunch for the guys and for myself because it's quite peckish. Tonight we're gonna have a big stew in the Dutch oven. It's gonna be a lamb rib stew. I'm looking forward to that. So I've got all the bits and everything like that. I'm gonna put something together and we're gonna feast tonight. But for this afternoon, just a light lunch. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mozzie's has been terrible this weekend. Oh God, I tell you what, they're like tractors coming down on us. Um, we've been keeping putting DEET. I don't know what you guys use. If you've got anything that's brilliant, let us know. But DEET is the way we go, but still, tell you what, they're horrendous this weekend. They are. Do you know what? I never learned because basically I should really get a bigger, a bigger vessel. What I have done in the past as well, I've used a, a Ziploc bag to do this. And that's worked out quite nicely. But yeah. Never learn. It's okay. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Get my hands a bit dirty, but never mind. Right, so basically just getting the mixture all evenly mixed. And then because numpty's me, stupid me, only brought that little one breadboard which I love because my daughter gave me that for my birthday and I absolutely love it but it's too small to sort of knead your bread in or knead your dough on so I'm going to take this over to my cool box because it was so hot this weekend we decided we we're going to bring the cool box and I'm going to knead it there so I got that kneaded in nicely and basically, I'm just going to leave it in there. Covered it up. And go and have a cold one while that rises a bit. Yeah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's grown really nice. Look at that. So, Dutch oven is getting warmed up. We're going to... I've decided I'm going to split that into three. So I'm not going to do one big one, I'm going to do three, three little ones and put them in together. Because we're three people here today. You guys are going to have to put up with the aeroplanes because there's loads of them. And every time I'm filming, they flying over. I don't know if this is going to be big enough to hold all three. But there's one. That one's slightly smaller, so I'll have that one then. What I'm thinking is a nice streaky bacon salad on a roll. So I'm going to slice this up, fry it, so it's nice and crispy, chop it up in bits, make a nice salad with that olive oil onto the bread. And that's just going to be a beautiful summer day's meal. The bacon is going to shrink. So I'm not going to go over the top and I'm not going to put any oil in the pan at all because this bacon is quite fatty and yes this here is a little table we knocked up together just a quick rudimentary thing it works and that's the point of it Right, so I've got all my bacon slice there, so that will go now in the pan. Right, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but I'm going to try and show you guys something. Ooh. 
one-handed. Look at that. Wow. Look at the colour on that. That's beautiful, that. So I'm going to leave them in for another one or two minutes and then get them out. Can't wait to see what these turn out like. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Look at those beauties. Absolutely amazing. They're definitely done. I'm gonna put them to one side. When I said I wanted these to a crisp, I meant it, but not burned. Only got two hands, so. So now we're gonna just get some chilies, some lettuce, some tomato, all those natural good things all together. And that's gonna be our filling. That's all gonna go those three gorgeous mini loaves of bread this chopping board is so small but I actually like it so much and I don't have to carry something big so it does the job, that's fine. I don't know when people use spring onions, how much of the spring onion do they actually use because I, I go nearly all the way really. I love spring onion. And all the parts is for me, it's a game. Don't do me. Get some of these cherry tomatoes. Gray, gray is watering Alan over the head because it's so hot and I tell you it is really so hot at the moment that's impossible to, it's unbearable I think you know what I actually think that once we eat this it'll actually make us feel a bit better I don't know salad sometimes for me does it I love salad I'm sorry I'm not trying to be rude you're not seeing my face but I can't cover everything and it's very difficult sometimes to film at all sort of different angles and when you're busy cooking as well. Oh. Gray just dumped a bunch of water on me. It wasn't water. And <laughs> oh, it's amazing, honestly. That just refreshed me. <sighs> My camera is full of ash. But yeah, let's carry on with this. I think we just done what we always do. We got too much. Eh? Yeah, well, whatever I don't use, I can take home, so it doesn't really matter. I'm left with that one, but that's for the chef. Mm. So mix leaves in the bowl. I'll just break them up and there's some beetroot in here as well and so on yeah 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 it's you know shop bought like most things these days now that we got that all in get the slowly bacon in there as well all the bacon all nice and crispy even those burnt pieces they're gonna all add flavor 
mix it all together nicely there. I was going to put some olive oil, but I think the bacon has got enough oil, so I'm not going to put no olive oil in that. I'm just going to let the flavors complement themselves. Look at that. Oh, focus on that camera. Look at that. That's beautiful, that. And as I said, I thought actually one of them was the biggest is that one there. I think I'll be greedy and keep that one for myself. Oh. Maybe I'll give it to Alan. Dutch oven bread, I absolutely love it. It's too hot to cut, but that's life. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So basically, how this goes is just like that. Nothing fancy, we're in the woods, and just a superfood. Who's having the first one? So we're gonna invade Alan's privacy here. So go on Alan, what you think? It's lovely, the bread is gorgeous. It is. It's still red hot as well. Look at that, oh. Well, Mate, enjoy. I will be doing, thank you very much. Pleasure. Well, he's gonna take a big mouthful there for the camera. I'm not even gonna bo bother with um, fancy camera work or anything like that. This is absolutely amazing. Mm. It's really, really nice. Hey, Gray. Mm. This was worth the wait, really. Really, really nice. It's a nice summer's meal. Summer day's lunch or brunch or whatever you want to call it. No need to go overboard. This, very cool. So, just to show you, a rudimentary makeshift table. The sun is in my eyes, so I can't even see what I'm doing. But yeah, that's, that's a makeshift table. That's just tied with paracord. It's all tied up with paracord and that will go in the fire tomorrow. So tomorrow morning that table is going to become the breakfast fire. 